Ben the Bar Guy back with another video to help you make better drinks and today we're going over a training process we like to call metronome training. I'll tell you what that's all about in the video. Let's make better drinks. Ben the Bar Guy, back with another video to help you make better drinks. And today, we're talking about metronome training. What is it? Basically, form of training to get your bartender a little faster. Beginners can use it, pros can use it. Bartenders who have been bartending for many years can come in and get faster using this training. In essence, what we do is we set up a metronome at 90 beats per minute, and we have the bartender fill everything with water so that they're not concerned with spilling anything. So you'll see Joe's carafe over here, filled with water. And he has two bottles in the rail, also filled with water. And the idea is we don't want the bartender worried about spilling anything. We tell him, you can spill as much as you want, you can drop as much water on the bar as you want, we don't care, we just want you to get your carafe or bottle picked up, poured into a jigger, poured into 10, and then set back down in four beats. Pick up, jigger, into the 10, down, pick up, Jigger, into the 10, down. And we start at 90 beats per minute. And so Joe's at 90 beats per minute right now and he's doing his best to get accustomed to the four beats while measuring and putting things into the 10. Now we have him pretending as if he's making cocktails. So everything he's touching is theoretically lime juice or simple syrup or lemon. The bottles he's picking up are rum and gin, but they're really just filled with water. So we told Joe to make three drinks in his mind, a daiquiri, a gimlet, and a gin sour. And so that's what he's measuring into the tent. This training method came about because in New York City, I was training a bartender who was being very careful to be accurate, which was a good thing, but her rounds making five drinks at a time were taking too long. She was taking about 12 minutes to complete a five cocktail round. I couldn't have her on the floor doing 12 minute rounds, and so we were trying to figure out what we could do to get her faster. And in walks Sasha Petrosky to help with the training. And I, I explained the situation, and he said, you know what, she's being too careful. I want you to put water in everything, and he explains metronome training to me. He says, download a metronome app to your phone, have it plugged into her ear with it with the headphones, and start at 90 beats per minute. And I was like, I have no idea what this is. How is this gonna work? Lo and behold, she plugs into 90 beats per minute and she starts the process of pouring this water, just as Joe's doing today. She would do this, and at first she would spill a little bit. We told her we didn't care, but she was getting faster. She started hitting the time notes, and she started hitting the beats. And then we said, okay, now I'll do it at 95 beats per minute. So she started at 95 and at first she would spill a little but then all of a sudden she would catch up to the beats and she'd feel comfortable. It took about 15 minutes. And then we did 100 beats per minute. Same thing. She started to get comfortable. It took about 15 minutes. The whole process lasted about 45 minutes. And then Sasha said, okay, I think we're done here. Put all the regular booze back in the bottles. Empty the water and put in the citrus like we had before. Let's see what she's at. And so she did the round in seven minutes. He had knocked five minutes off her rounds with the metronome training in just 45 minutes. The restaurant math on that, as far as how much money you can make by making a bartender five minutes faster out of every, if, if you can make a bartender five minutes faster out of every 12, that is literally thousands and thousands of dollars, not only in the bartender's pockets for, for tips, uh, because they've made so many more drinks, but also the business itself is going to make many, many more drinks. And so that metronome training stuck with me. I've used it everywhere I go, and every once in a while I get behind the bar and do it myself because I want to see how fast I am and see if I can get faster. So we'll have Joe here do an example and see how he does. And one of the things we tell Joe is that if he's measuring with the same carafe, to not let the water fall all the way back to the bottom of the carafe. One, one thing that'll make you quicker is, is to only bend the carafe however much you need to get the water into the tent. Same with these two ounce pours, which is probably the hardest part of the metronome training. Very hard, pour two ounces in the beats that you're given. But if you have to pour out of the same bottle, again, don't let the water fall back all the way down into the bottle. Keep it almost in the neck, just on the edge, so that all you have to do is a little bend and then you're pouring again, like this. And that'll speed you up drastically.
One of the cool things about metronome training is it actually gives a bartender the muscle memory to get faster. Whereas if I just walked into a bar and told a bartender who was a little slow that they needed to be faster, they would have no idea how to do that. This actually is a how on how to get faster and teach your muscle memory so that you can build up your speed over time. The implications for metronome training go further than just even listening to a metronome. I started using only 90 beats per minute songs on playlists uh, at certain bars I was at just to keep bartenders bartending at a faster pace throughout their shift, thinking if they bartended the songs and they were faster songs, they would actually bartend faster, just like the metronome gets you to bartend faster. In any case, if you're a bar manager out there and you really want your bartenders to get faster, get out some water, have them download a metronome map, plug into it with their headphones, start at 90 beats per minute, and pour pickup, pour jigger down four beats and try and keep up with the rhythm as fast as possible. You'll see great results. People will really start to get faster. Um, they'll start to train the muscles and the wrists to be able to pour more accurately. And we've seen good results for it at Reliable Tavern. Hope this helps you guys. And as always guys, better drinks. Even if sometimes they're water. Just kidding. Rye.